What's up, TechNumber here for Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Power Ranks. Power Ranks is a super simple rank system, but is incredibly versatile and powerful. To install a plugin, head over to the plugin section, search for Power Ranks, install the version that's compatible with your server, and restart. Alternatively, you could download it from the speaker page and upload it to your Server Pro panel. For viable ranks, Vault needs to be installed as well. After installing PowerRanks, we can get some basic info on the plugin by running slash PR. Slash PR help displays a list of all commands. Before we get into the commands, there is a GUI available, but it doesn't have every command. So use slash PR GUI to open this menu. Let's start by creating a rank. Slash PR create rank followed by a rank name. I'll create a rank called test. We can delete the rank by running slash PR delete rank followed by a rank name or rename an existing one by running slash PR rename rank rank name followed by a new name. To give this rank to new players by default, we can use slash PR set default rank followed by a rank name test. Joining on another account and entering something into chat, you can see that we have the test role. From here, we can give the rank some permissions for other plugins and commands. I'll try and run slash game mode creative on this other account with no permissions. Of course, it fails with an error message. Slash PR add perm followed by a rank, then a permission adds a permission to a rank. Replace add perm with a del perm to remove a permission from a rank as well. Let's add the game mode permission to the test rank. Slash PR add perm test minecraft.command.game mode. Running slash game mode creative on the other account now lets us change our game mode. We can skip roles and assign permissions directly to players by using slash PR add player perm followed by a name and a permission, and remove it with slash PR del player perm. The plugin comes with four ranks by default member, moderator, admin, and owner. Let's assign myself the owner rank slash PR set rank techno owner. If we want to target ourselves, we can use slash PR set own rank followed by a rank to skip entering our own name. We can check ranks of other players with slash PR check followed by a name. When creating ranks, we can inherit permissions from other ranks as well. If we create a higher rank, we don't need to add everything from the previous roles manually. To inherit permissions, we can use slash PR add inheritance followed by a rank, then another rank that you'll get the permissions from. We can then remove inheritance with slash PR del inheritance. We can edit prefixes, text color, and more as well. Slash PR set prefix followed by a rank and a string of text lets us change what appears before a player's name in chat. Color codes can be used in here. To add text after a player's name, we can use slash PR set suffix instead. To change a rank's color, use slash PR set name color rank followed by a color. Colors are codes, so and one is dark blue, for example. To set text color for players chatting, Use slash PR set chat color followed by a rank and a color. The plugin also allows us to create a tree for rank progression as well. To add a promote rank and a demote rank, we can use slash PR set promote rank followed by a rank and then a higher rank name and slash PR set demote rank as well. To clear these afterwards, we can use slash PR clear promote rank followed by a rank and slash PR clear demote rank. When a player with test is promoted, they'll get the moderator rank. Slash PR set demote rank moderator test adds the ability to demote moderators back to test. Using slash PR promote followed by a player, we can promote them. We can demote them as well with slash PR demote. I'll run slash PR promote Vicky. And typing something in chat, you can see that they have the moderator tag. Slash PR demote Vicky moves them back to the test permission that we created earlier. We can also set icons for ranks by holding an item and running slash PR set icon followed by a rank's name. This takes the icon of the item in our hand and assigns it to the rank slash PR set icon test. This icon isn't visible anywhere but in the GUI slash PR GUI then set a player's rank and then a player shows us a list of available ranks and there's an icon that we can choose. To add another rank to a player, a sub rank, we can use slash PR add sub rank, player name followed by a rank, and slash PR del sub rank 
to remove it. To show the subranks prefix as well, we can use slash PR enable subrank prefix followed by a player name at a rank and slash PR disable subrank prefix to hide it. Slash PR enable subrank suffix and slash PR disable subrank suffix is the same as before, just for the ranks suffix. If we want to give a subrank and give it permissions, we can use slash PR enable subrank permissions followed by a player name and a rank and slash PR disable subrank permissions to stop sharing its permissions. Assuming Vault is installed and is enabled in the config.yml, we can add viable ranks. Slash PR add viable rank followed by a rank name and a higher rank name allows the higher rank to be bought by players with a rank already. For example, slash PR add viable rank member VIP allows members to buy VIP but nobody else. Slash PR del viable rank removes it. Slash PR set cost rank followed by a cost lets us set a price for the rank. Players with a rank can use slash PR rank up to buy the next rank in their progression tree. User tags are created with slash PR create user tag tag name followed by text. We can edit it with slash PR edit user tag and remove it using slash PR remove user tag. I'll create one using slash PR create user tag test tag followed by tag text here. Then I'll assign it with slash PR set user tag techno followed by the tag's name test tag. Typing something in chat, we can see that the text we entered earlier appears alongside my username. If you have a rank prefix, this will appear between your username and the ranks prefix. And we can remove it using slash PR clear user tag followed by a player's name. Signs can be placed so when players interact with them, roles are assigned. Every sign works with the first line being power ranks inside of square brackets, then the second being a command and the third being an optional player's name or rank name if applicable. Commands we have available here are GUI, rank up, set, check, promote, and demote. Creating a GUI sign, right clicking it opens up the power ranks GUI. Power ranks, set, admin lets anyone who interacts with the sign become an admin. Power ranks promote and power ranks demote lets players move up and down the rank tree. Power ranks check tells you your current rank when interacted with and power ranks rank up followed by a group name lets players who interact with the sign buy the next rank in their progression tree. Admins can use slash PR reload, config, plugin or all to reload different parts of the plugin. Slash PR stats to view statistics on the plugin, slash PR verbose start, start live, stop and save to use the advanced logging system to help debug power ranks. And assuming something goes terribly wrong, we can use slash PR factory reset to reset the power ranks plugin completely. Locate the config in the plugin folder. Most of the plugin is managed from in-game, so the config is limited. The add-ons folder is for power ranks add-on plugins, but will remain completely empty for most servers. The ranks folder contains a list of ranks and a list of players. The ranks list contains a list of every rank, as well as their prefix, suffix, colors, cost, and more. The players list contains every player's GUID, as well as permissions, ranks, and subranks assigned to them. Lang.yml contains localization for the plugin, so you can customize how it talks back to players. Config.yml is very limited, as almost every aspect of the plugin is used through in-game chat. In here, we can customize how the plugin affects chat, if at all, enable or disable signs, and enable or disable hooking to other plugins. To get the Vault integration to work, enable Vault underscore economy. The last section, updates, controls how the plugin reacts to new versions of the plugin. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.